your father's time, Masagana 99 was mm -hmm. quite a successful project. No? And they mm -hmm. reminded me about Pantabangan Dam and Magat mm -hmm. Dam that was constructed. And that's why Northern Luzon became the rice granary. Mm -hmm. The challenges that many of our agri MSME space is this whole problem of productivity. Uh, would that be part of one of your focus, agriculture? Well, it, yes. I mentioned it earlier that uh, actually one of the first things, if not the first things that we felt uh, when COVID came to the Philippines was the food supply problem, um, where people were not, the, the, uh, we were not, because the transport system was completely down, our supply lines were completely down. Um, and it, show, it suddenly showed how agriculture, there were, there were weaknesses in our whole agricultural system. And uh, in, in the Masagana 99 project, agri the agricultural sector uh, in general, the Masagana 99 project in particular, uh, were, part were uh, not, they are not, the, it's not a simple, it is not a simple program to put together. Uh, sometimes when we think of agriculture, we think of a, of a farmer planting uh, rice or planting whatever whatever the crop is. Uh, that is not the whole. That is a very small part of agriculture. Uh, we need to, as, as we did before, uh, we need to put together. We, we need to put together the research and development. With climate change coming on. We need uh, better varieties that are more tolerant of the the, the, the new um, the new weather that uh, that's coming our way, um, or it has, has already in fact come. And then after that, we need the uh, support uh, to give to the farmers. And uh, the, the, that includes uh, things like production loans, the, the procurement of uh, fertilizers and pesticides uh, at, bulk pro at bulk prices and to give them as part of the production loan. And, you know, I keep reminding people government is, should not be making money on any of this and therefore will be able to provide it cheaply. Now, during the, on the production phase, it's very important that we realize that we are way behind our neighbors when it comes to mechanization. The, 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 the uh, percentage of labor costs in our cost of production is twice as much as that of Vietnam and Thailand. And that is because of mechanization. And uh, that's why it is time for the government to once again support uh, that, uh, that, that uh, effort to mechanize to so that we bring down the cost of production we must mechanize instead of uh, small scale farms we have to put them together and that's what we try to do that's why i spoke about agricultural cooperatives we have to put them together so it is a large scale farming and that brings down the cost of production a great deal and that certainly increases the profits of the farmers and that is the kind of support that they, that, that they need after production, once again, the uh, processing, the milling, the drying, all of these things should also be provided by government. After that, is the is the uh, bringing it to market. Uh, we had before uh, the NFA. The NFA, the function of the NFA before was completely different from what it's doing now. The NFA only imports rice now, but what the NFA used to do, what the NFA was created for, was to stabilize the market. Uh, the market price of certain commodities. When it's time for harvest and the prices are low, supply is high and prices are low, NFA would buy and keep the price at a certain, at a certain level para naman hindi malugi yung mga farmer. Pagka tag-araw, tag-init, na walang ani, and that's the time nagre-release ngayon sila para hindi naman masyadong tumaas ang presyo para sa consumer. And that was that's what NFA uh, used to do. I think we should return that we should return NFA to that function. And then the the retail we have uh, meron tayong FTI na food terminal na tawag noon na yung bagsakan ng lahat ng produkto uh, hanggang dadalhin sa kadiwa store uh, na pinagbibili ang mga commodity na mura dahil ulitin ko hindi dapat kumita ang gobyerno kaya at naibibigay nila at cost and maybe some processing fee but a tiny as little as possible uh, and that 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 seems to be unsuccessful but it is it is almost totally vertically integrated uh, so it is not a small system and that's why I think uh, that's why I say when I mention agriculture amongst the other things uh, is that this is these are long term 
uh, necessities. These are long-term uh, things that we have to do. We have to rationalize our agricultural spending also by the government. Uh, the, 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 there are people who there are people who say that uh, we are spending too much on rice when in fact, uh, in terms of actual nutrition or food, uh, dairy, uh, mas madami, mas madami ang livestock, mas madami ang fisheries, and maybe it's something that we should that we should study. So we have to rationalize everything. And you mentioned the dams. Eh, ang unang una talaga is patubig. Uh, you know, none of this will succeed if you do not have good irrigation. And uh, with the, the climate change, we really have to think about very hard because not only now, we no longer talk about flood control. It's always flood control and irrigation. Uh, so that, that, kind, that kind of thinking must now be applied uh, in, with a view to what the climate change is bringing uh, to, to our farmers. Yes, that is, <laughs> it is a very important part uh, of uh, the plans that we must have for the future. Because, uh, like for example, in Ilocos Norte, sinasabi namin, baka naman okay na, basta may pera ang tao, they, we don't have to produce the rice. We can buy it. And yes, to an extent, that's, uh, that's, that's possible for a province, but not for a nation. We must have a strategic supply. And in the Philippines, as in all of Asia, there is an emotional connection to rice. Uh, I'll give an example back again to Ilocos Norte. When we were trying to move people, sabi ko, ang nipis-nipis ng, uh, ng profit margin ng palay. Kako, marami na tayong palay, lumipat tayo dun sa mga high-value crops. And yung mga sagot sa sir, tinignan namin yung warehouse natin, walang laman, wala akong nakitang bigas. Sabi ko, inabenta na namin. Ay, hindi po pwede yan. No, wala tayong... it's, it's a very emotional. Uh, my example which is when South Korea signed up with the WTO and uh, started to allow importation, the government fell. Uh, the importation of rice, the government fell. Uh, that's how, that's how, 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 how much part of it. Uh, how much a part of our lives and of our consciousness uh, rice is. And that's why it is necessary that we have our own supply. Uh, but of course, uh, we should not just stick to rice. We should uh, go, as I said, to high-value crops. We should look at livestock. Because when you talk about agriculture, it's not just crops. It's crops, livestock, and fisheries. And that's, those are the things that we need to intensify our, our studies on. Uh, there, there, there have been many attempts. There was, a, there was a, an accompanying program to Masagana 99 where bankas were provided uh, to our fisher folk. And uh, maybe we can return to that. We need now a different kind of design because much of our 12-kilometer uh, limit has been overfished, not only by Filipinos, but people who are poaching from our waters. Uh, so we have to give our fisher folk bigger and better equipment, uh, so further afield and, and, and uh, uh, fully make a good living. Uh, in terms of livestock, right now it is mom and pop. Wala tayong malalaki. Uh, we have piggeries and we, have, uh, uh, we don't have much dairy if, if you think about it. But uh, what there is, is uh, still backyard uh, it's a, the, the, a backyard style of, uh, of, uh, of raising uh, livestock. Uh, so we, again, uh, just in terms of food supply, just in terms, you have to study, in, in fact, kasi bigas lang pinag-uusapan natin, dapat tignan natin yung protein, tignan natin lahat ng iba't ibang nutritional elements para maging, maging uh, uh, maganda ang ating agrokultura at talagang nabibigyan ng pagkain at nabibigyan ng sustansya ang taong bayan.